Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we are going to learn about the bubble sort. Bubble sort is also known as sinking sort. It is a simple sorting algorithm that compares a pair of adjacent element in a list. If an element is not in the right order, we swap the element with the one before. Otherwise, the element remains in the same place. Let's take an example as the array we have like 6, 5, 1, 3. So what should be the output? Or it should be like 1, 3 and 5 and 6. Okay, so this is the output we have to get. So first, let's see the first and the second value. Okay, so this is my 0, 1, 2 and 3. Basically the array index, right? So we'll compare this like array of 0 if it's greater than if it's greater than array of 1 then we will do the swapping okay so here in our case of course 6 is greater than 5 so what the new array we will get in the sense like it will be like 5 and 6 then we will go with the second one like array of 1 if it's greater than array of 2 then we will have to do the sort so in our case here like uh, 6 and 1 right so which is of course greater than so we'll simply do the swapping again so what will be my output in the sense like it will become like uh, 1 and 6 okay not the 6 1 earlier it was okay now again we'll go with the next value like array of 2 and we'll compare with the array of 3 right so 1 not 1 here it will be like 6 correct so 6 is greater than 3 so of course we will again swap the value so it will become like 3 and 6 okay so the new array will be like 5 1 and 3 6 okay so one iteration is done now of course it is not sorted again so we have to again do the sorting right so for that we will again do the same so here we will check like if it's greater than then we will swap so the new array will become like 1 and 5 and then we will compare this with this right so here already we have 5 so 5 is greater than 3 yes it is greater than 3 so we'll do like uh, swapping again so it will become like 3 and 5 correct then here we have this 5 and 6 and 5 and 6 of course the condition does not satisfy so we don't have to do this sorting so finally we got the outputs like output like 1 3 5 6 okay so this is a very simple algorithm just we have to check whether the two adjacent elements are uh, greater than or not if it's greater than we'll swap it or else we will skip the swap okay now let's see how to do the same in javascript okay so let's create a function with name like bubble sort and we'll get the array as an input okay so first of all we have to find the length because uh, we have to know like how many times we have to iterate and of course we have to iterate multiple times right so there will be two loops one is for the internal like we'll check from this to the this one and once it is done we'll have to again go from the first so that we can make sure that all the numbers are sorted so for that of course i need the length so let length equal to array dot length and first iteration will be like let I equal to 0 and it should be of course less than the length and it should increment 1 by 1 okay and then we need another loop why in the sense like first of all we'll check like how many times I have to go this is like for I using the I we can say like how many times we have to go and here we are going to say like for J like J is for like internally like how many arrays values are there we have to check like the adjacent one right so here we'll say like j and it should be lesser than length minus one okay why minus one in the sense like here we are going to say the adjacent that means array of j plus array of j plus one right so here you can say like zero and one that means j will be zero j plus one is like one correct so zero plus one is one in the second time time like uh one plus two that will be three like so that like we have to do the increment when it comes to the last one if i say like 3 plus 1 that will be 4 which is undefined so to avoid that here we are using this neg negative one even if you don't use this minus one it should work fine but you will get the undefined to avoid that i am using this minus one and here we will write our swapping function 
right it's very simple right so we can use the temp value here let temp equal to array of zero okay and then of course what we have to do we have to check like if array of zero is greater than array of j plus one right so that means array of uh, this should be not zero this should be like z, j okay so here we have to say like if array of j but before that of course we need the condition to check right so array of j if it's greater than array of j plus one then we'll do the sorting right so array of j is what Con consider that it is like in the zeroth one right so it's zero is six and j plus one is five so if six is greater than five then we have to do the sorting right so here we can say like first of all we'll have a temp variable where we'll get the actual one that is array of j then we'll say like array of j equal to array of j plus one okay so we are just doing the swapping here okay and then we'll say like array of j plus one equals the temp value okay so this is very simple technique we have discussed this in our previous videos as well so i believe you are able to understand just as swapping we'll store the array of j in a temporary variable and whatever there in the j plus one we'll move that to the j value and then what is the temp is there we'll move that to the j plus one value okay so that's it very simple technique okay that's it we are pretty much already done now let's see whether it's working or not okay so once the loop is completed i'm going to return the original array itself okay now here i can just log that log the function bubble sort and we'll pass our actual source that is this one okay now let's go and run this Now let's go and run this. So here you can see like we got the value like 1356. This working fine, but still we can improve this one. Okay. Consider that we have an array like this. Uh, let's say that we have already got an array like 1, 3, and 5 and 6. Okay. So we already got an sorted array, but still we are trying to do the sorting. So what will happen in the sense like, of course, it will check like all the adjacent value and there is no swapping okay but since we are using like for i equal to zero and i should be le less than the length of array that means of course we are going to iterate for all the uh three times right that is zero two three four times so we have we are going to iterate which of course not needed right so we can improve this simply using the uh condition okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to simply command this for now and here I'll say like do and then followed by y. Okay, so we are going to use the do while. And then we need this guy. So we'll just copy paste over here. Okay, so what I'm trying to do here is let me explain. Same concept, just we'll check like if the swapping is done or not. So within the if condition, we are doing the swapping, right? So here I will say like let swap equal to uh yeah let it be okay and here within this do so we'll make this as false so by default it will be like false if the swapping is done then we'll just say like swap equal to true okay we are setting this one and here we'll check so until the swap is true we'll continue or else we'll just stop okay so what will happen in the sense like do while in the sense like a first do will run once irrespective of the true or false that is used here right then based on the while condition it will just run okay so here first of all we'll check like uh, here yeah this is fine now. so here we'll say check like if the array is greater than not if it's greater than of course we'll do the swapping and once the swapping is done we'll set like swap is true so here since this value is true now of course it will run again but when there is no swap required the condition will fail and it will just come out of the why okay now let's go and check this one more time so here you can see like we got the array okay and if i say like we have this particular value let's take the same that is the sorted one now let's try to execute so here we can see like we got the same of course but just to give you the confirmation what i'm going to do is i'm going to 
print the i okay so that we can see the difference so console.log and i'm going to print the i okay so here you can see like uh sorry it should be j not the i so here you can see like we got the j like 0 1 and 2 so here we can see like we got like 0 1 2 okay so this is basically like here within the loop of course we have like uh length of 3 so of course length minus 1 in the sense like 2 so 0 1 2 right now if i change this to the original array let's see what happens okay so the values are 6 5 1 and 3 i guess yeah 6 5 1 3 okay so now let's go and run let's see what happens so here you can see like we got like uh, 0 1 2 0 1 2 0 1 2 and that means like it iterated for three times because like we have went into this one right so here we have like swap equal to true so like swap equal to true so if the swap is true then of course it will just continue if the swap is false okay so in our previous case the array is already sorted so here we didn't do any of the sort so the swap equal to true will never change it will be like false always right so if it's false of course he don't execute the loop once again and we got the like 0 1 2 that is because here we are printing the j and j is basically of course it will run based on the length okay so i hope this makes sense to you if not let me give you the visualization here okay so here i'm going to create the array like 6 5 1 and 3 okay now let's click on this go and let's do the sorting okay so here you can see like first 6 and 5 will be swapped and 1 and 6 and 3 and 6 and then it will do the second iteration and that's it we are pretty much done right so that is how the bubble sort works it's very simple technique just we have to understand like how to do the swapping okay so that's it thanks for watching see you in the next one very soon if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comments tata bye bye see you